uh, were Kilmarnock. Now, after a very disappointing result, Charlie, in midweek in Germany, they really had it all to do because McLeish has got Hibs um, very, very sure. optimistic about what they can achieve in the, in the Premier Division. Yeah, I mean, I have to say that I think the keeper is slow to react. I think you should be playing a, a kind of more sweeper-type role because Gallup's going to start the season fairly well. You know, this is just a simple one too. It's basic errors in defence. I, I don't know what the keeper's trying to do. He knows he can't get there and he makes the wrong call for me. But I don't think it was so hard for Kamano, Jim, because they were beaten by a very, very strong German side. We know the respect that they have. The coins came back into the fold. Terrible marking again, I have to say. Big Alec McLeish will be furious when he sees mm. that. Of it's not his quickest anymore, but he's still found five yards. That's, that's the type of goal I love. Everyone else does the work. <laughs> it just comes back <laughs> off the post and you knock You were usually closer than that walk. And then you just take the applause, it's marvellous. He's pretty remarkable, McCoy. I mean, he has his critics about maybe he should bow out now, Charlie, but to be honest, he's, he's still such an influence in any side, isn't he? Oh, well, I mean, he's, he's uh, the, the one few character we've probably got left in the game who really plays with a smile on his place, whether it's going well or not so well. <laughs> you know, Pat McGinley a bit rash here. I think he'd lost control of it because of course his uh, control is not the best. But this is sheer cheek. I remember Andy Walker doing this for our last season. A bit more of a chip, a bit less pace on it, but very composed and very confident. So come on at winning there. And Andy, to be honest, Bobby Williamson tweaked me big time in an interview recently because I was being overcritical in his eyes of Kilmarnock's results because he said the performances were good, the results weren't, but at the end of the day, you have to be judged on results, don't you? Yeah, that's what it all comes down to, but uh, in fairness to Kilmarnock, I think the expectation there now is just so high after all the success that they had last season. And uh, Sometimes it can be a bit false because... Uh, Kilmarnock have really just come onto the scene in the last few years and uh, I think year after year they're making progress and the fact that they qualified for Europe is a big bonus for them, they've done that the last couple of years now and uh, if they can continue to do that then I think Bobby Williamson's doing a great job there.